Imagery Geeks. Today, I'm going to be talking about imagery content available to ArcGIS users through the Living Atlas. The Living Atlas is Esri's collection of rich, ready-to-use geospatial content, essentially maps, apps, and tools that are contributed not only by Esri, but by our partners and by our user community. Let's check out what we have. Once I've signed into my ArcGIS Online account, I can browse our collection. So what do we have here? Content for everyone, global geographic information. We are maintaining a portfolio of content organized around different themes. Here's the imagery theme. We can drill down into imagery. It's further broken down into four subcategories. First is base maps. Base maps are conveniently formatted blazing fast services used to provide context and for visualization purposes. The world imagery base map is an example. Fact, we have around 50 million views of just this base map every single day. A very common question we get, how accurate current and recent is the imagery? Once the base map is loaded, search for your area of interest, Redlands for example, Click on any given area, the pop-up provides you with all the relevant information. Here, for instance, the data provider for the area is Neomap. It's 7 centimeter resolution imagery acquired on the 22nd of November 2015 with an accuracy of 75 centimeters. Zooming out a bit, here we have a different data provider, different data acquisition date, and the resolution of the imagery here is 60 centimeters. The next subcategory, multispectral imagery. These images, unlike base maps, provide users with access to additional bands outside the visible spectrum. This enables processing and band combinations to create derivative products, enhancing specific characteristics such as land water delineation, crop growth, or healthy vegetation. The temporal imagery subcategory contains recent and historical imagery for comparison and analysis helps view change over time, urban sprawl, climate change, deforestation, and drought. And lastly, event imagery. The Esri community has access to imagery of significant natural environmental events. Event imagery provides access to latest available imagery, both before and immediately after major events, such as natural disasters. In addition to these core subcategories, we do have earth observation, elevation, and other landscape layers, which are very relevant to imagery workflows and based off of the same image of technology. We have different experiences for accessing or working with content in the Living Atlas. For instance, this was a web app. I've shown you how you can intuitively filter based on themes, search various categories, and so on. Hover over the layer and it gives you a bit more information about it. You can even explore more information about each layer. Clicking on this layer brings up a page with several options, also providing you with relevant description, tags, and so on. You can also load this data directly into a web map. So the web app was the first user experience to explore and work with the data. Another experience to work with this content is directly through the web map. You can easily browse the Living Atlas layers, and here I'd just like to see multispectral imagery in the imagery subcategory. Search for a data set or layer, NAEP in this case, and I can add this layer directly to map. I can now change my display order or change my display. switch from NDVI to false color for instance, I can basically explore all capabilities as provided natively by the image layer. Lastly, our desktop experience. It involves accessing this data directly through the catalog pane in ArcGIS Pro. Head over to the catalog pane. The portal category provides you with access to the living atlas and its constituent layers. Pick a category, search for a layer, We can then work with the layer directly within Pro just like any other image layer or image service.
I can tweak the appearance or change my processing template. My mosaic methods or even view the attribute table or metadata associated with my layer. That's what I have for today. Quickly summarizing, we have a huge and growing repo of imagery content categorized in the Living Atlas. This can be easily accessed across our platform. Use cases serves as a visual backdrop, analytics, situational awareness, damage assessment, search and rescue operations, debris management, much more. Go on ahead, I'd recommend you to explore the Living Atlas, use it in your future work. And yes, we would also like you to come forth and share your content through the contribution app. Thank mm -hmm. you.